Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you some more of my diecast cars, my 1 to 64 diecast cars by several brands. And please, I ask you to before going on to the video, leave your comments, your likes below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the bell for new videos. So let's move on to the video. First car I'm going to show you is this 1956 Ford commercial truck, which is made by M2 diecast. Very nice truck. It's a V8 engine. Uh, M2 always does a does very well at the tail. Makes very nice models. It's got it features the opening doors. Let's open the door so we can take a closer look at the interior. There we go. See the steering wheel and the dashboard. Uh, very typical from the 1950s trucks. Forward batch, the wheels with hubcaps, and special bed for commercial trucks. Let's put it over here. This car is around, let's see, it's three inches long. Three and a half inches actually. It's uh, 164. Next one I'm going to show is this Johnny Lightning Jeep Wagoneer, which is also one of my favorites. That's a very well made model. It's fantastic concerning details, trims, and opening parts. Um, what I always say is it doesn't matter whether the model car features opening parts as long as they are well reproduced. I just don't like model cars with several opening parts but with uh, rough details or poorly done hinges and fins, trims and pieces as well, right, as a whole. That's a closer look at the interior. It's got a brown interior that's typical from the 1970s cars. That's really very nice. But this is a 1980-something, I think. I don't remember. But well, it's also a Johnny Lightning. That's a 1969 Dodge Coronet RT convertible. Features a white interior that looks very nice. It's a Hemi engine, open hood, and rubber tires. It's a little bit smaller than a regular 1064 scale, but it's very well made with the correct proportions. got this Ford truck here. This is a 1978 by Greenlight. It's a flatbed truck with a couple of ramps. It features a driver. It comes along with the truck. We can use it in the diorama. It looks very nice. It's around, let's say, it's a four and a quarter inches long. It's very good for you to put your cars in the back. I just put this 1972 Chevelle, but it could be any car. By the way, this is a very nice 1972 Chevelle SS. It's a black banded green light collection. The 454 engine. The blinkers, 1972 blinkers. A grill that resembles a little 1971. I don't know if this is correct. I think it is not. The SS patch, the rest of the car is black. You can also compare to this 1970 Chevelle. It's also by green light. Put them side by side, you can see. They're basically the same car, just with a difference in the rear end, rear bumper. Uh, 1971 and 72 featured rounded taillights, 1970s rectangular taillights and the front in which 1970 has double headlights with the blinkers and the bumpers and 1971 and 72 single headlights with the blinkers inside and the front end of the front fender. Those are very nice, got the same hoods. Let's take a look at the engine. It's the 454, 710N horsepower.
which is fantastic. Let's put them over there. Okay. Now I have this hitch and tow by green light. This flatbed trailer with a couple ramps. We can just put your car on here and take to a car show, whatever you want. It used to be an adjustment pin here, but it's just broken. Unfortunately, it broke. It was um, a little tight, and I tried to uh, turn it around, and it fell broken, unfortunately. This is a 1969 Chevrolet C10. That's a beautiful truck. It doesn't have an opening hood, but it really doesn't matter because the truck looks fantastic. I like Fords, I like Chevys, I like Mopars. Oh, I like all sorts of American cars. There are no rivals, really. There's no fight between my car brands. It's just... Hook it up here and put the Chevelle here on the bat. That's where it used to be. And I've got this little golf set with this 68 Mustang, oh, 67 actually, 67 Golf Mustang. Let's take a look at the engine, it's, it is a little hard to open. It looks like a 302, I'm not quite sure of it. Features these fancy wheels, they were very popular in these Mustangs at a time. The golf painting scheme. Very nice tail lights. Very nice details. That's very common in green light. That's why I like green light so much. This international Durastar flatback truck. It's a big truck. It's a 1 to 64 scale as well. And the flatbed you can just put your car on here and take to a car show any sort of event, whatever you want. And last but not least, this Golf Hitch and Tow trailer and pickup. 2015 F-250 Super Duty truck. It's got a very high suspension, four-wheel drive. And the car trailer you can just attach to the back of it. There's this opening door, you can just open, and if you want to, you can put your car in here. You can even have a bigger car that will fit, just like it happens to the Chargers, for instance. Maybe Cadillacs. Okay, so this is it. Just put my cars here, the tractors, and the gas pump that comes with the driver along with the international flatbed truck. It's also very good for dioramas. So I thank you for watching my video. Thank you for your likes. Please leave your likes and your comments below. And activate the bell for new videos that are going to come up. And I see you in the next video too. So just stay tuned. Have a nice day. Bye bye.